nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ. And neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father as he both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my heart. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my heart. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my heart. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Dear sisters and brothers of Christ, peace and Easter greeting be to you. We're honored to have so much Louisiana up in the church house today. <laughs> it's, no, it's nothing but a blessing. And let us remember, as has been told in this tale, of, one of the great stories never told of the 272, 272 human beings, children of the queens and kings of Africa, were taken from Maryland and sold, resold into slavery by Jesuit, by a fellow Catholic. And we remember that, but it reminds us that Maryland and Louisiana have been connected, were connected, and will be connected. And here you have living proof. The two sons, two sons of 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 Father Bicy, our dear Father Bicy, and Dr. Nancy of the best. So we just want to we want to thank God. We can feel the spirit of, um, of our beloved Father Bird Cherie in this place today. We're doing this mass, this.
Mass called Bright Monday in his honor and, and remembering it. We should never forget the souls of the just. Amen. Because they're in the hands of God and everybody after us, they're like urging us on with the same enthusiasm that Peter had. And I love this Peter's speech because it's one of his one of, one of his Easter sermons that we had. He's just telling the old, old story. But for Peter, this was fresh. This was new. Even amidst the persecution that would come to the Christians, he had to keep on telling it so that those who were Jewish but had never yet understood that the, the Messiah had come and he had done his messianic work of salvation. And now he lived and reigned from heaven above. They needed to hear that story. And so he said, Little Marys, he came running, a running from the tomb. Little Marys, he came running, a running from the tomb with the other Mary in this account, in this gospel account. And the Lord will bear my spirit home. And she had that unbelievable news. He's been raised. It's true. And nobody had ever been raised, not like Lazarus or the daughter of the, uh, of, of the their, their outside of David and the son of the widow of Naomi. Uh, nobody had, they were, they, were, they were raised from death to come back to this life. But nobody ever would have been raised from the dead to new life. Taking with us all humanity, raising up all humanity. Father George, uh, he broke the word over yesterday. Yeah, he and he, he did, he, he talked about Christ robed in flesh when he took his resurrected body into heaven. That he took us, yeah. he took humanity, earthly, all of our things, up into the highest heaven with the Godhead. Because we we are, um, we that's, that's our resurrection too. So as I woke up this morning, I said, this is going to be a brand new resurrection day. I'm not going to be the same anymore because Christ has been raised. And in, in Christ, I am being raised. This is the day we all are in this argument. So, so I did kind of this little testimony on one word. I remember when the Shelley family is well known in, in North. <laughs> Their grandmothers were known, the grandparents were known. They were, I, I just need to bring an eyewitness mm -hmm. to the to, to the Sherry family to come to all in this this room. I remember when Bert was ordained, yes. there was more a priest the yes. first time. There was more commotion. <laughs> and his brother Richard, he, he thought he was gonna follow him how many years later. But uh, just give us a little Sherry background. Yes, sir. We might well, know that treasure. Well the way I got connected with the Sherry family was um, Richard was my professor in the School of Black Catholic Studies at Zane. Wow. So I just graduated undergrad at Loyola like a couple of weeks before, and then I was at the Institute. And I was an odd man at the Institute because here I was 22 years old, and the next youngest person was 46, 47 years old. So I was a young guy. And I mean, I can say this to y'all, y'all family, but whenever uh, our brother priest see a young man, first thing they want to do is corner them in a space and place to see. So the way the institute worked, uh, you would come for morning praise. I would catch a ride from Loyola to catch the morning praise at 8.30 a.m. at Xavier's Chapel. Mm -hmm. Then we'd have our first class, then uh, lunch period, mass, and then the second session, the afternoon class. So I was, living, I, I was living off campus, I didn't have a car, so I would just stay in between on campus and sometimes catch a nap. So one day, uh, I went to the chapel early, and I was sitting in the old chapel, not the chapel, the same chapel, the rest of the chapel, there's the one little room, yes, chapel, right? right? And I was sitting there, and this guy comes in in this uh, uh, brown robe, right? In Franciscan robe. And he was like, hey, hey, uh, you're Ansel, right? And I was like, yes. And he's like, I'm Father Bird. I'm like, hey, Father Bird, and we were just talking, you're from New Orleans, and I was making a small talk. As I go to Peter Clay, you know, in class with your brother. Oh, Peter Clay said, Sharif. I had Richard, and again, that's my brother. I said, okay, okay. And he was like, have you ever thought about being a priest? And I was like, okay. And I knew where this was going. Because I knew it was coming. I was waiting for it to lie. Because it happened over and over again. And I was like, well, one thing, Bishop. I mean, Paul. He's like, what's up? Can my girlfriend come? He left me alone after that. But it was at that point, not knowing how our paths would cross and intertwine, 
Um, he would, whenever he would come home from Quincy, Illinois, because he was at uh, campus minister up there, he would connect with me and make sure, you know, to see how I was doing. He had such an interest in, in me. You know, we were friends from that point on, not knowing that I had been in the Office of Black Captains from 2013 and a half, I started that July, uh, until like a year later, he was coming to become our auxiliary bishop. And I remember that call. Uh, we had just had Martin Luther King Day. You know, we were busy with the service stuff and everything. So that Tuesday after Martin Luther King Day was my day off. Okay, right? And so at six in the morning, I'm like, why is Father Bird calling me? What's going on? You know, and I didn't want to answer. He said, you're not going to believe this. He's like, what? I'm about to be the bishop, uh, auxiliary bishop of New Orleans. I was the hand the ball and stop playing on my phone, right? But he was like, serious. He said he couldn't tell me until that time. And he wanted me to come to the press conference at 75 in the Archbishop's uh, office. You know, I was running the office of Black Catholics then. And so from that point on, you know, I'm helping to move in, helping to do this, almost like, uh, you know, an uncle figure. You know what I'm saying? I was a nephew. We just looked out for one another. And for me, one of the greatest testaments you know, people always ask, why did you go home? Why did you go home? You know, when I left here, when I'm working here in the Archdiocese. And Bishop Shree called me home to help him at Peter Clinton when he became our administrator at my home parish. So, you know, no one paid cut, no one all this stuff, but wanted to serve my uncle, yeah, my yeah, friend, sure. and you know, let him know how someone had his back that he could trust. I went home. Um, not knowing he was gonna get sick, not knowing he was gonna pass, and not knowing that I was gonna be helping the family the brothers and sisters, somebody I had never met until that point. And, you know, just like brothers and sisters, they're all crazy over who was in charge and who did. But sometimes being the venting person, not knowing a couple of nights, I was going to spend the night at the uh, long term care facility to give them a break uh, while watching Bishop and not praying for him, talking to him, and now he couldn't talk back, calling the nurse when he was getting real agitated, you know, doing certain things to help clean him up and things like that. Here I am taking care of someone that was taking care of me in various ways mm. in, in the past. And so to me being here, I know tomorrow I start a new job and be watching over you. Mm. We had a conversation, me, him, Jesus, and everybody, Sister Thea, everybody, and Sister, even Regina, Father Mike, Father mm. Madhu, mm. you made the list of ancestors mm. down mm. on the way here. And so today, I know a year ago we buried him in the cathedral. Mm. Um, I couldn't pay my respects to him in the cathedral because there's no way to get to the vault there. But I did go to Xavier where he is uh, ex exhibited on, uh, you know, in the library, where he has an exhibit of some of the stuff he donated with the family. But in and all things, I know his Franciscan hospitality that he gave to me, resides in me along with each and every one of you in the ministry that you do. And I uh, hope, you know, I, I know it will, but in a unique way, transmits into the work that God has me doing. So I know he's watching over me. The Sharif family is watching over me. Sharif, Mama Sharif. Roger over me and all of them. So, uh, just like I said, my way of honoring him is to make a way for those coming after me. Amen. And you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah. 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 That, that was a good one. I'll testify. I'm going to be very brief. Um, <coughs> um, we're in the season of resurrection. This is resurrection. The fact that Jesus has died and he died in the morning, he's still alive right now. And the fact that Jesus has taken our humanity up with him in heaven, he is still living. And nobody can, even the people that saw what happened can't even deny it. Even the people who, there's no sum of money that can deny what happened, the fact that Jesus is still alive. And so this is resurrection because first he is still living. Yeah. His spirit is still living and his, his body and, and you and, and us and the faith that we share and the the Eucharistic table that, that, that we're about to, the prayer we're about to break, the worship that we offer, the prayers that we lift up, the people whom we serve, I mean, this is, this is resurrection, right? This, this is, this is, this is why we are doing what we're doing right now in this very moment. And so, um, so I, I'm, I'm just blessed to, to be here, to, to be in the presence of, of you, my brothers, uh, in, in Christ, as we remember our, our other brother in Christ, who's remembering us and thinking of us and interceding on us on our behalf and, and, and living out what it means to be a people of hope, to be a people of resurrection, to be a people um, who, whose life continues in our Lord, who, whom death cannot hold. Exactly. What, what is this? Um, 
because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world nor suffer your holy one to see corruption. Yes. You have made known the paths of life. You will fill me with joy. With joy in your presence. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Um, so I, I am blessed uh, because of this. Um, my brother, um, Bishop Sharif, still lives with the Lord. Um, he lives in us. Um, we are privileged to carry on his name, his legacy, his life. Strong in that faith that we profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin of Mary and came in. For our sake he was crucified on his mother's body, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom has no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one the holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, the life of the Word of God. Amen. During the cease for season, we join our Holy Father in his special prayers and intention and at our own. First, that during this Easter season, we pray that the dignity and worth of women would be recognized in every culture. Help us, Father, bring an end to the discrimination women face in many parts of the world. And we ask you to bless our, our, our Father, Pope Francis. Bless all of those that are on the battlefield for the church, especially the church in chains. Historic black colleges and 
what is, is so exciting is that he is a vice dean himself. He came from New Zealand to go to Howard University, survive. No, I, 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 they're there now. They're there now. Okay, well, that, 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 that's what counts. <laughs> we, thank, we thank Jesus for that. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it's through your goodness we have just bread to all who return this gift. You and yours and me. So will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours can be acceptable to God, the Father of light. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you.
celebrating that most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the ever glorious Virgin Mary, mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, and John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Versailles, John, and Paul, Caius, and Damien, and all your saints. He has that through their merits and prayers, and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, let the church say, Amen. Before our Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those whom you have pleased, been pleased to give around the world new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace. Command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord, God's people say, be pleased, O Lord, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he took supper, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven, to you, Almighty God. He get, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which is given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
through Christ our Lord, let the church say, Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants, and in particular, remember this mass which has burned you, and all those ancestors who have gone before us with the tide of faith, and rest in the truth. Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, all who seek in Christ a place of refreshment, life, and peace. Bless also your servants who are sinners, hoping your abundant mercy. Gracious to grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Orthodox, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, and Stasia, and all your saints. Admit you to teach them to their company, not weighing our merits. Strengthen us your part through Christ our Lord, in whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon them. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever, let the church say, Amen. Amen. God's people say, Amen. Let the church say,
heard uh, expressed to some of us, especially through the clergy conference, why he was making a move. He had been nourished in his priesthood by the beautiful community of faith in the Diocese of Archdiocese of New Orleans. But he felt that there was a fraternity that, that would help him grow deeper in his priesthood. And so he made a critical decision, kind of like a, a midpoint in his, in his vocation as a Christian, as a baptized Christian, to go a step further and embrace the fraternity of those who had followed a simple friar Francis of Assisi and enter into the community of Francis and Claire and all the Franciscan martyrs and saints down throughout the ages. And that community, that, that shaped him, formed him, and gave him new energy and new life and, and helped him enter deeply into the passion of Christ that Francis, Father Francis, experienced by his own stigma and by his service relentless to, to the poorest of the poor. Erd, but now Bishop Erd took that Franciscan spirit with him, the whole fraternity. We, we thank God for a vocation within a vocation. Somebody say amen. Amen. And, and family, I just want to encourage you. God always invites us to go deeper. And sometimes you may think you're already living large, but you, you haven't lived large, so you follow, listen to that Holy Spirit speaking quietly within you, telling you, go further, go deeper, go farther, reach out. And we thank God today for the, the, the vision that became a reality that has changed all of our lives and untold thousands and millions uh, through the ministry son, as cousin, relative, as father, and as bishop, Ferdinand Shirley. Let us pray. Somebody say, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth the masses and it. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be Me to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. risen. Christos aneste. Anathetos aneste. Christos aneste. There's a couple of more questions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, truly, he is risen. Let us go forth in peace. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the mighty God. For the Lord our God is almighty, the Lord our God is omnipotent, the Lord our God. He is wonderful. And you want to hear this, this, this the dulcet tone. You, this this Father Boxy, Father Boxy, you, you, you have a beautiful voice, angelic, and you just help with you and all the, all our, our, our ice, with all our sisters and brothers in Louisiana, the promised land, and, and, and all of them. You just keep on singing, keep on shouting, keep on following Jesus Christ, and and, and, and that call of Father Francis hits you in some way to serve Jesus in the forest of the poor. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.